everybody, welcome. It's Dr. Brown from KNS Chiropractic, your Baltimore area chiropractor. Today, what we're going to talk about is one of the main questions I get asked every day in my office, and that is, Doc, should I be using ice or should I be using heat for my pain? So, we're going to break this down for you to make it pretty easy. What is the main difference between ice and heat? Number one, great way to think about it, ice is for acute situations, heat is for chronic situations. Acute problem is something that just began, something that ranges anywhere up to about 72 hours. Body sets up an inflammatory reaction. This reaction is used to help protect that area. That is the time you wanna use ice. Ice, it's a vasoconstrictor, means it reduces the size of the blood vessels to limit the amount of blood coming to that area. That will help to reduce your pain. Ice is an analgesic. It helps to numb the area and helps to reduce pain. One thing you need to remember when using ice is that you need to put something in between your body and the ice. That might be a towel, a paper towel, something to reduce the amount of coldness that's going to be hitting the skin. You don't want to burn your skin. As you start to numb it, you might not be able to feel the ice and you can develop frostbite. That would not be good. So. We understand the ice, acute, 48 to 72 hours. Heat we use after 72 hours. What does heat do? Heat is a vasodilator. That is used to help bring blood to the area. You bring blood to the area, you help the tissues heal, and make for a speedier recovery. Now, what do we use each for? So let's talk about ice, what it's good for. Slip, fall, trauma. Anytime you have redness, swelling, we're gonna use ice. Ice, sprain strain, great for a sprain strain. You twist, you fall, just twist your ankle. Ice, gout, great for gout. It helps to reduce the pain. Ice is an analgesic. New injury, a fresh injury. Tension headache, we like to use ice because it helps to constrict the blood vessels to limit the amount of blood flow coming to the area. Ice is good for tendonitis. Ice is good for joint problems. Ice is good for the nerves. Now, heat, when are we gonna use heat? Number one is we'd like to use moist heat. So how is a good way to use moist heat? What I tell my patients to do is I tell them to take a wet washcloth, put it in the microwave for a little while. Moist heat is better, better depth of penetration. Heat is great for arthritis, chronic conditions, something that's been going on for a long time. That's when we wanna use heat. You're having muscle tightness, you have been diagnosed with um, degenerative arthritis. We want heat. Heat is good to help loosen the muscles. You have chronic muscle tightness. Sit at the computer all day. Heat is gonna be the most effective thing for that because it's been there for a long period of time. But what I want you to remember is you can never go wrong using ice. Ice will not make the situation worse where heat might. So remember that. All right, thanks everybody for joining. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment. Let me know whether you use heat or ice, what works best for you. And remember, pain is not a lifestyle. I'll see you next week for another video. Thanks for watching.